डियर स्टूडेंट ओबीए पार्ट थर्ड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द होल पायम इकोलॉजी बाय ए के रामानुजन इन द टू प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट ए लॉट ऑफ अबाउट इकोलॉजी पोयम अबाउट द पोइट अबाउट द पोयम लाइन टू लाइन डेस्क्रिप्टिव एनालिसिस ऑफ द पोयम इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट ए क्रिटिकल एप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द पोयम द पोयम इकोलॉजी इज डीपली रूटेड इन द ट्रेडिशंस ऑफ इंडिया टू विच द पोएट इज इंटरेस्टिंगली अटैच्ड ही रियलाइजेस दैट विद द विद ऑल द सेपरेशन फ्रॉम कंट्री इन टर्म्स ऑफ फिजिकल डिस्टेंस द अटैचमेंट इज इन फैक्ट गेटिंग एवर स्ट्रोंगर देन इट यूज टू बी द पोएम शोज हाउ द मदर वुड नॉट लाइक द टिपिकल चंपक ट्रीज to be cut down even though they give her a migraine after the first rains the strong fragrance of pollen webs in the air making his mother very uncomfortable the po- though the poet dislike her aversion to cutting down the trees he is aware of the feeling of home that it gives him every time he comes back from america the poem ecology by ak ramanujan is about a son's devotion to her mother and her devotion to ecology that creates a kind of conflict between the two in a nutshell the poet the poet's mother gets severe migraine pain because of red champak trees polans the poet wants out wants to cut the trees but his mother stops him from doing so because of her religious and emotional sentiments for the tree the poem can be read either as a single sentence or in stanzas there is no rhyming scheme in the poem the poet uses a number of literary devices in poem in the poem like metaphor personification and simile the poet says that for a number of years during every first rain probably the beginning of the summer season he finds his mother suffering from blinding migraine unbearable fever because of three red champak trees which are a mile away from the poet's house this poem depicts eco critical perspective here the poet presents the conflict between anthropocentric view and biocentric view the narrator upholds anthropocentric view while the mother upholds biocentric view here the narrator plans to cut the champak trees which gives migraine for his mother though the champak tree creates problem for the mother she doesn't allow him to cut the tree wet as the cold pack on her dead would not let us cut down a flowering tree this shows the biocentric view of the mother for her the migraine is nothing in comparison to the amount of flowers that is obtained every season many poets have been glorified nature through their poems but what makes this poem differ from other poem is that here poet 
makes clear criticism on champak tree and helps the reader to reach a conclusion here ramanujan examines the negative and positive sides of champak trees and makes an awareness in the minds of the readers about the importance of conservation of the tree This poem port- portrays Ramanujan's strong interest in the family as a very important theme of his poetic craft. His memories of the past would inevitably bring pictures of his family, especially his mother who is self-sacrificing. There is also a reference to his Hindu heritage as he mentions the gods and the ancient beliefs in the poem the sense of irony is indicated when the mother very angrily protests the idea of cutting down the tree even though she is suffering very badly from the migraine caused by it she has a kind of emotional attachment to the tree saying that it is as old as her self this poem reveals the temperament and nature of the mother of the persona or the speaker who recalls his experience of every in the every year in the past during the rains the smell or fragrance of the pollen of a certain kind of tree used to bring a severe attack of migraine to mother but she would yet not allow that tree to be cut down because the tree had also positive sides to it and because she thought this positive side of the tree to be a compensation enough to her for the attack of migraine which the tree used to cause we are often faced with a dilemma in our lives because the two alternatives which lie open to us are equally attractive or equally unattractive so that we cannot make up our minds what course we should adopt the woman in the poem is at least not having any dilemma because she has decided that the tree should not be cut down even though it is a cause of much pain to her it is better to solve one's dilemma by choosing a certain course of action than to keep wavering hamlet like about the course which we should adopt in any in any case this poem has considerable psychological value In this poem the poet has tried to show the difference in the views of people belonging to the old generation and those belonging to the new generation the old people have emotions memories beliefs attached to the ecology for the poet the red champak trees have no use their pollen pollutes the air and dust the city they cannot be prevented from entering the houses and human body on the other hand his mother's perspective is on con- contrary to his views for her the tree is not just a tree but a good omen for her and her house it is the flowers of the red champak trees which she and other people offer to the gods and to their daughters this is what makes her consider her suffering a small sacrifice which she is giving to the tree the imagery in this poem as most as almost in every poem by ramanujan is not worthy we have the picture of three red champak trees bursting into flowers and spreading their yellow pollen fog of a fragrance which 
no door could be shut out from the speaker's house then there is the picture of the mother flashing her temper while she had a cold pack on her head and telling her family not to cut down a flowering tree there is some regularity of the form of this poem each stanza consists of three lines the only exception being the last stanza which consists of only two lines apart from that the wordings of the poem shows ramanujan's instinct for using the right word in the right place some of the phrases and similes are most appropriate for example and given mother her first blinding migraine of the season our back pillared house whose walls had ears and eyes and were porous like us or a passing birds providential droppings so ecology is a poem which which could be read as one single sentence however each stanza has particular idea there is a casual connection between the ideas and they flow from one stanza to the next flashing her temper for an instance of the use of irony because she is very anger at the idea of having the tree cut down the actual meaning of the word ecology is not followed here but the poem seems to convey the thought that a particular kind of tree may have both negative and positive factors and therefore it needed not to be pulled down